Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm Preet. And we're gonna talk about our third month here in Germany. So this is our third video and it's supposed to be about like our orientation process, but um, we actually had a really smooth orientation here because we got to meet a lot of people right before the actual orientation for the entire Erasmus group. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so do you want to elaborate, pre? Okay, so it all started on a Saturday. Um, we were getting groceries and stuff, and on our way back we dropped off at Kevin's place first, and then Marina and I, Marina, our buddy, um, we were gonna go back to my place, drop off some stuff, and then we were gonna go get dinner somewhere. Um, on our way we saw um, a guy, uh, he looked lost, and um, he, Marina um, asked me, hey, do you want to ask if he needs any help? Because she is a buddy, and of course her inner buddy kicked in, and she was like, I need to ask if this guy is okay and stuff. So we asked him, we were like, hey, so um, are you lost? Do you need anything? Turned out um, he was from Atlanta, and um, he was not having a good time. Um, some stuff happened. And um, he didn't know how to get to his place and everything. And uh, his buddy wasn't here. His roommate wasn't here. And the roommate gave the keys to someone else. And that person wasn't here. So he was basically homeless. So we're trying to help him um, out, figuring out why we have like three heavy bags of groceries. Um, uh, basically carrying from one place to the other, but we're trying to help him and then we found out that he Came here with three other Americans Sam Aaron and Bart and um, Yes, his name is Bart like from the Simpsons um, he, he always points it out. He's like yes, like Bart like in the Simpsons uh, He's really nice um, he uh so we basically get we find out that there are four more americans besides us and um so we went out we had um dinner together all of them and they're really nice they're from atlanta ksu right yeah kennesaw state mm -hmm. university i think um and it's really cool because you know we're so far away from home and we're just meeting a lot of like German people and then we kind of find a little American group mm -hmm. and it's, it's kind of nice because then you can talk about things from home and they totally understand. Mm -hmm. uh, they understand a lot of your references or pop culture yeah. references and of course they're native English speakers so it's been kind of nice. But then in terms of the orientation that the university put on for us, um, it was one of the first Mondays that we were there, mm -hmm. and they talked about the different facilities, so when you're a linguistics student or an arts and humanities student or economics, you know, you would have to go to these different uh, mini orientations and get to know some of the faculty or get to know how... Um, those different faculties work here in the university and then they talked about how to register for classes mm -hmm. and then they talked about the semester ticket which mm -hmm. the semester ticket is once you pay your tuition which was about 200 euros or so um, once you pay your tuition then you're able to get the semester ticket which allows you to travel within the entire state for free. So you can mm -hmm. ride the buses and the train system, mm -hmm. um, and it's great. Then after they talked about the semester ticket, we ended up taking a German crash course test. That was really difficult. It was, we, I wasn't prepared for it. I didn't study. I didn't figure I was going to have to study. Nobody studied. Yeah, nobody even thought about it. But essentially for this test, um, this was for every student you had to take this test and then they would place you within certain classes to learn the German language for your semester or pre-semester crash course. Um, it was a really weird test. Um, it was basically you had like two letters and then you had to guess the other remaining two or three letters. It was the weirdest thing. Um, before that we also went to the Mensa. Yeah, yeah. Do you um, want to talk about the Mensa experience? <laughs> the Mensa basically is a cafeteria. It's named Mensa here at our uni. 
um, basically we got a ticket and we couldn't eat anything at the Mensa like everything was free and we could get anything we desired um, Marina told us how um, it became a game for them like at the Arubis, Arubis one uh, that they would have compete who would get m the most expensive food for free. So that was kind of funny. Um, yeah. So after we went to the Menza, we ate some pretty good food. Uh, then we went to a Eurobiz meeting and they talked about um, their group in general. We got to meet other exchange students and then they talked about day trips. So Eurobiz puts on um, these trips that you can go to other mm -hmm. cities within Germany. Sometimes they're just day trips, sometimes they're whole weekend trips. Uh, they just had a weekend trip to Berlin, which was pretty cool. We didn't get to go but um, because of classes or anything like that. But a lot of the trips that they put on are fantastic mm -hmm. and they're usually really cheap. Yeah, yeah. So it's really cool that Eurobiz can do that for us. Mm -hmm. And then um, we just had activities the rest of the night to meet other students. It was really fun. Yeah, to meet people from other nationalities, um, getting to know why they are here, why they chose Germany, and uh, it was it was fun, like getting to know other people in general. Mm -hmm. And then shortly after the orientation, I would say about a week later, we started the German crash course. Now Preet dropped out because she is a native German speaker. So she's like, I'm good, I'm fine. I can speak German, no problem. But for me, who I, I've only studied German for one year, I'm still at a very elementary level. So I was put in a rather low level German course and um, it ended up being four days a week or five days a week, depending on the schedule of our mm -hmm. teacher. And it was four hours long, so it was a really, really intensive course. I mean, when they say it was a crash course, it really was. And I would say the most difficult thing about it was that you can't speak in your native language. You have to speak in German the entire time that you're mm -hmm. in that class, which makes sense because you're with a whole bunch of other students from different nationalities, um, from different language backgrounds. So English might not be their first language. English might not even be a language that they know. So because you're learning German, you have to communicate to other students in German. So it was a bit difficult, I would say, but it's really helped me learn how to communicate a little bit better. It's, I would say that it's increased my German skills, but I'm still really bad. So <laughs> um, the only important thing is, is that I passed. That's all I care about. So proud of you. Um, there was also homework, right? Yeah, homework. homework. You'd have homework, and you, of course, when you're in elementary level uh, courses, you have a lot of vocabulary you have to learn, and then you usually buy a textbook. Mm -hmm. And the great thing that's different between Germany <laughs> and the United States is that textbooks don't cost a fortune. When I went to go buy my German textbook here, it only cost me 23 euros, which is, I mean, roughly $25. And when I went to go buy my German book for ISU, it was $218 used. <laughs> so it's fantastic that they actually um, don't make you sell your leg and soul <laughs> in order for you to get a textbook for one class never heard someone say that before. <laughs> well, now you have. So that's that's a pretty good difference, I would say. And it was four or five credits, so it's uh, it was a really cool class. I got to meet a lot more people, um, especially when you're with that many people for like four days a week, four hours, and you get to see each other make mistakes. And if you have a good teacher, then you're usually able to laugh it off and enjoy your time no matter how much the language hurts you. Well, <laughs> now, now that you're talking about it, while you guys were struggling, I was struggling too. Like, don't think just because I dropped out of the German crash course, I had no struggles. I had a lot of struggles because I um, am considered like a normal student here, like an uh, everyday student. I'm not considered an exchange student or um, I'm, I'm an international student. So basically, 
I had to register as a normal student and it was like really um, difficult because you have to have insurance in order to register as a student. So that kind of was um, not fun, not fun times. Uh, I still have nightmares. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, but besides that, I think it was, but yeah. it was kind of nice that I had, could wake up late while you guys had to wake up at nine and be at the crash course. Yeah, I would agree with that. But now that we're done with the crash course, we're now in regular classes, so things are going pretty smoothly, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> you don't sound convincing. I'm taking like seven classes, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, like, we'll explain that later on yeah. as it goes, how that goes. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all we have for you today. So thank you for watching. We appreciate it. Thank you.